Hey, I'm Morgan from the very unofficial travel guides and this is my inside cabin on the newly refurbished Norwegian Jade. Welcome back, travel fans. Uh, if you're new here, if you just showed up on the very unofficial travel guides, I'm Morgan, I think I said that already, and uh, this is, I think, my 13th or 14th cruise, and it's my fourth or fifth with Norwegian, but it's the first time I've been on this class of ship, and I'm very excited to be here. I just, like, we literally just got on the ship, came to the cabin, and before I do anything else, I wanted to uh, give you a tour of this cabin. But if you're into cruising, if you're doing research for a cruise, or if you just like watching cruise stuff, then please subscribe to my channel here and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Now, let's look around this cabin. This is cabin 4579. It is an inside cabin. It is literally the least expensive cabin I could book for this cruise. So this is what you get when you book the least expensive cabin on the Norwegian Jade. This is the view uh, when we come in. They gave us, or they separated the beds, which is fine. I guess, you know what, I, to tell you guys the truth, a little secret, I always sleep better when I've got my own bed. And uh, we're just gonna be on here for two nights, so I think we'll be able to deal with it. And uh, it's not a big inside cabin, but usually inside cabins are not big. However, the inside cabin I had on the Harmony of the Seas was much bigger than this, and it had that cool virtual balcony. But anyways, uh, this is an older ship, it's only been refurbished, uh, but I'm liking the vibe. We've got these um, pieces of art on the wall. They kind of match. One thing that I always look for now, and if you've been watching my cabin tours and my hotel room tours and things like that, you'll know how important I find this. USB ports next to each bed, or each side of the bed, basically, so you can charge your devices. That is what I think every hotel room and every cabin needs nowadays to be modern. This is the view then from the beds. Really, like I said, there's not much here. Uh, here's the television. There, uh, some information and, I don't know, would you call that the desk? Uh, there are some outlets here. Um, this is our device we brought this here with. Here's another USB port and do these things open? Here's a little space for some storage next to this mirror. Over here is, I guess, uh, no, here. I was gonna say, here's a full length mirror, but it's really thin. This is a half length mirror. I guess this is the place where they expect you to get ready uh, because here's the hair dryer, here's a little desk. Uh, we have some fantastic chocolate dipped strawberries again and a nice bottle of sparkling wine or is it champagne that is um, a gift from Norwegian Cruise Lines I guess thank you so much Norwegian Cruise Lines here we have uh, a little thing with our bottles of water and some ice in here no there's no ice but I'm sure they'll put ice in there as soon as we give them the chance we've got a miniature fridge here and it oh, opens from this side. <laughs> there are things in here, but uh, just a little uh, word of advice, even with the drink package, these things are not included. Look, at this is why I was confused, because there's a handle on this side, and there's a handle on this side, so how are you supposed to know which side to open? Moving on, the closet. Marcus already hung up some stuff in here, but we, uh, because of our VIP status, we got some robes and slippers again. And you know, because the slippers are packed in plastic, I wonder if that means we get to keep them. I don't know. I kept my slippers from uh, Atlantis in Dubai. Here's a little safe, big enough for a, I would say probably a 12 inch or a 15 inch laptop. And let's look at the bathroom. Of course, very good to know the bathroom is Morgan approved. It has a real door that closes all the way. And this is what it looks like. And you know what? Uh, there's things I like about it. First of all, uh, I like that it has a real shower cabin with a door that you can um, slide open and closed. Uh, I'm a fan of this 
um, I'm not a fan of the shower curtains. We've talked about that in other videos. Uh, here is the sink area. And here's something I wanted to ask you guys. If any of you have cruised on NCL recently, did you get these in your cabin as well? Or is that something they only do for VIPs? That's something I'd be interested in knowing if this is like a, you know, some kind of partnership they have, or if it's like just something that they do for their special guests. Here's our shower poofs. And uh, here's the toilet. And I know, you know, it always feels kind of weird talking about toilets and bathrooms and stuff like that, but I think, you know, it's an important factor of enjoying your experience. And uh, one major plus is, of course, like I said, it's got a real door. Um, however, I'm a small guy. You guys know I'm, you know, I'm 5'5", five five, which is not tall. That's shorter than average. And this area here is quite cramped. I can't, uh, I can't sit down here and like sit straight because already my leg is touching here. And like I said, I'm a small guy. So I guess kind of have to sit sideways like this. And so if you're really tall or if you're, you know, your body proportions are a little bit large, uh, it's going to be cramped for you. But I mean, altogether, an inside cabin is cramped, you know, for anybody. And that's the cabin, I guess. Thanks for watching. Uh, I've got other cabin tours uh, linked in the description below. And uh, like I said, if you subscribe to my channel, then you will always get an update of when I post a new video. A lot of them are cruise videos. So that's, you know, what other reason do you need? And uh, thanks as always to the VIPs over on patreon.com slash very unofficial. Bon voyage.